Kawasaki disease was first described in 1967 in Japan by Tomasiko Kawasaki. Hello guys and welcome to Medicalomics. In this video we will talk about Kawasaki disease. We will talk about the diagnosis and the management of Kawasaki disease. But first of all, what is Kawasaki? It's a vasculitis that mainly affects children who are younger than 5 years of age. Luckily, most of the patients have resolving of symptoms in less than 8 weeks. Unfortunately, Kawasaki can lead to death, but only in a small percentage of patients. This is mainly due to cardiac complications such as coronary artery aneurysm and myocarditis and arrhythmias. So how can we diagnose Kawasaki disease? First of all, we need fever. The fever must last for more than 5 days. In addition to the fever, we need 4 of the following 5 symptoms. First of all, we need anathem or oropharyngeal changes. They mainly affect the lips, with erythema, fissuring, and crusting. They also affect the tongue in the so-called strawberry tongue, which is caused by injection of the tongue. Second of all is bulbar conjunctivitis. In Kawasaki, the conjunctivitis is mainly bilateral and non-exceditive. Three is rash. The rash of Kawasaki disease is mainly polymorphous and usually generalized. Four is lymphadenopathy. In Kawasaki disease, the lymphadenopathy is mainly non-purulent, unilateral, and we need at least to have one lymph node measuring more than 1.5 cm in diameter. 5 is extremity changes. Initially, we have reading and edema of the, of the palms and soles. After a few weeks, these change into disquamation of the fingers and toes. So how do we remember this diagnostic criteria? Let's try to make a mnemonic. F for fever, E for anathem, B for bulbar conjunctivitis, R for rash, I is for internal organ involvement such as the heart, but it's not a part of the diagnostic criteria, L for lymphadenopathy, and E for extremity changes. This yield the acronym FEPRILE which is an easy way to remember the criteria. Now how we treat Kawasaki? We mainly use high dose aspirin as an anti-inflammatory drug. After that, we use low dose aspirin. This is mainly because of in the subacute phase of the disease, 
the platelet count increases. In addition to the aspirin, we also use intravenous immunoglobulins, or IVIG. Don't forget to make an echocardiography for your patient to assess for cardiac complications. Thank you for watching guys, please like and subscribe for more videos and leave us a feedback below about our content.